recently picked up a Line 6 Pod Express. And when I say recently, I mean like yesterday evening. So I wanted to talk about it a little bit. Let's go. Before we get started, my name is Chris. This is B Minus Demos. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by to hang out with me today. If you're returning, also still thank you. I genuinely appreciate people who have seen one of my videos and decide that they still want to come back to watch another one. It's awesome. Thank you so much. If you would be so kind as to give me a like on this video, a follow, turn on the notification bell, do all the little youtube things. Uh, it is November. I'm trying to hit 300 subscribers by the end of the year. Um, and so I think I got about... I don't know, 70, 65, 70 more to go. Uh, it'd be awesome if I could hit that, uh, and I would be super grateful to all of you out there. So yesterday, I got out and I went to my local shop. I had a couple of things that I had been kind of looking at that they had posted on Instagram, um, and I mostly just kind of went to look around and see if I could get rid of some stuff that I've been trying to sell for a while that just hasn't moved. When I walked in, I kind of had two things in mind. I was looking at maybe some sort of amp sim type thing, just kind of see what they had. Um, and then I was also looking for a reverb pedal. I ended up trading a handful of pedals and this little combo practice amp that I have for um, a Walrus Audio Fathom reverb, which this is my second one. I, I genuinely love those. Uh, and this little guy right here, this is the Pod Express. If you're unfamiliar with this, uh, this basically takes the Line 6 Pod stuff and sticks it in a really small, very portable enclosure. Um, and I think it's kind of a neat deal, to be honest. It's not necessarily as powerful as the Helix stuff, but it sounds pretty good. You've got some cool options and everything. But the thing that really drew me to it is the routing options you have in terms of like recording with this. For a little while now, I've been wanting to go back to using some sort of amp sim that can also be an interface. That's mostly because sometimes I kind of like to record on my iPad. Now the Logic Pro amp sims are terrible, um, so I like having something that's like an amp sim and can serve as an interface so that I don't have to carry around a bunch of stuff. This was kind of my hope when I tried out the Tonex, um, which is a video that people mostly hate my opinions on, but some, some of you uh, appreciate it, and I'm grateful for that. Uh, but it's definitely a polarizing video. Um, but the Tonex just wasn't for me. I didn't hate it. It wasn't terrible. Um, the software for it was god-awful. I will stand by that. I, I am not willing to budge on that, at least at the time. I haven't really gone back and messed with it a whole lot, but at least at the time, it was really awful. So, anyhow, I've been looking for something else. I actually just recently had the Nuex Amp Academy, which is kind of the same deal. Uh, excuse the helicopter and the incredibly unflattering lighting. Uh, I just wanted to hop in real quick and say Past Me is about to go on a really long rant about the Nuex Amp Academy. I'm going to sum it up for you real quick. The sounds are pretty good, but the software and hardware integration, um, there are a lot of issues with that. Um, and I've seen other people having similar issues where they just do not communicate well with each other, the hardware and the software, that is. Uh, so I think it sounded pretty good. I would have liked to have kept it based on some of the sounds that I had, but it just, like, it never really lived up to what it's supposed to be. Um, and so because of that, I will say it doesn't sound bad, but just buyer beware. Three hours later. Messing with it and messing with it, I was like, you know what? It's just not worth the hassle. So that was in amongst the stuff that I traded in. I didn't have anything specific I was looking for. Like I said, I did kind of want something that might could serve as an interface. So when I saw the Pod Express, I was like, this is a perfect time to try this because I'm not actually out any money. I'm just trading some stuff that I have that hasn't sold. Now, right off the jump, this is super easy to use. In fact, I when I first like unboxed it my computer was doing an update and I actually just like ran it uh, out of the outputs into my 
monitors and just play like that for a little while and it's it's so easy to use you do not have to set up the stuff in the computer at all uh the stuff in the box is really great there are tons of videos out there of people demoing the sounds and i'll certainly do that as time goes um but i wanted to take a look at like is there a difference between running the pod express as your interface running the pod express into like a high z line in in an interface or running the pod express into a di and then into you know the xlr in your interface for each of these three sounds i'm using the same preset it's based on like what looks like a friedman you know kind of marshall style amp and then i have that going into kind of a vintage style marshall cab that again is already built in i didn't make any changes to anything in between these three sounds they're all identical in terms of like what's coming out of the box i also threw this uh craft brutal effects victory or death overdrive in front of it this is kind of a dod 250 style clone um, i really like this a lot and i wanted to try something that could that has the potential to kind of sound gross in a really good way because i think if I can capture a gross sound and it's at least sounding the way I'm expecting it to sound, then I think I, I I'm on you know like I think this is gonna meet my needs and and serve the purpose that I need. So first up, you'll hear uh, me using the Pod Express as an interface. So I'm just going into Reaper uh, with the pedal in front of it. On the second one, I just went back to my audience uh, interface and I'm just running into the high Z input. And then for the last one. I'm running it into a DI box and I'm running that into the XLR in the audience. So let's take a listen to those sounds right now. I'll go ahead and admit I have a favorite and it's running it into a DI and then into the XLR I just I don't know it, it just I'm not gonna say it sounded better it sounded more like what I was hoping it would sound like so for me that's the way I'm gonna run it most of the time but I actually think it's really incredible that you can spend $180 on one of these or if you have some old stuff kicking around, maybe you can get lucky and get it for, you know, like almost nothing. Um, and you can use this as an interface. It's all of your amp sounds. It It's all of your effects. It, it's kind of everything. And I think for under $200, I think that's really awesome. Now, there are a couple of kind of competitors out there at this price point. I think, again, the biggest one is probably going to be the Tonex. But that wasn't really what I was looking for. Um, so for me, I think the Pod Express is the winner. Uh, I mean, you know, 
there's no way for me to tell it's been less than 24 hours if it's going to do everything I need for it to do. And there is one thing that I would like to see them add to the software. Uh, you cannot add your own cabs to it right now. I don't know if that's supposed to be coming. I haven't looked at it. I looked into it at all. Uh, I would love to, to see the ability for me to add my own uh, cab IRs into it. I think that's the thing that could push this over the top and make it hands down without a doubt the best sub $200 choice. So that's it. I appreciate you guys for coming to hang out. Uh, I'm going to do more videos with this in the coming weeks. I'm going to get back into doing videos more regularly. I appreciate you coming to hang out. Let me know what you thought about this, you know, trash talk, my guitar playing, and how you disagree with all my opinions about this. Just let me know because it, all engagement is, is engagement, you know, negative or positive. YouTube does not care and neither do I. So listen, I hope you guys have an amazing week and I'll see you later. Peace. Thank you.